Hello and welcome to my next presentation using my AW139 Interactive Systems Trainer. I've already spoken about the hydraulic system and the electrical system. Uh, today I'm going to be speaking about the fuel system. So you press on the fuel icon down here, it'll take you to the fuel system page. Like my other presentations, I have a slide select button. Press on that, it'll bring up a whole bunch of information arrows and again you press on those and it'll take you to further information on the system, either to a new page or it'll bring up the information on the current page. Okay, I won't press on all of them. So the slide select button, press that again, it'll declutter the, uh, the screen by taking away all the arrows. And you can go through a normal start on the system. So we'll start the number one engine first. Obviously there's no consideration of electrics, etc. in the start. This is only the fuel and the EMS. So fuel switch, fuel pump, uh, what's happened, the fuel shutoff valve has opened and you've turned the pump on which is now pumping fuel to the number one engine ready for start. Uh, number one EMS to idle, engine starts and a flight. Same again on the number two side, fuel switch, fuel pump, idle, flight and cross feed to normal to take you to the normal configuration with regards to the fuel system for flight. Once you're in the normal config, these three buttons will appear, uh, the boost pump fail, low fuel and the probe fail, which is just a few of the emergencies. There are more serious emergencies, I guess, like fuel leaks, etc. I won't go through those. Uh, the pump fail, press on the boost pump fail light, uh, correction button, it will turn yellow. Your boost pump on the number two side has failed. You have a boost pump fail light indicated from this pressure switch here, which is no longer receiving any pressure. Your cross feed valve has opened because you're in the normal, uh, you've got the switch in the normal setting. And now you're pumping fuel from the number one side to both engines. No problems. Of course, if you go to the emergency checklist for this, it says to turn off the associated pump. Okay, so we'll turn that pump off. And if you recover pressure to continue flight, which we have recovered pressure because there is now pressure from the number one side. There is a note to say that when it gets low, you'll get this 228. When fuel gets low, sorry, you'll get this 228, which I'll demonstrate here. Fuel low, 228. And if you continue flying in this configuration, you're now going to start draining fuel by uh, using fuel from your number one tank only at double the rate because it's feeding both engines and you're going to have this 228 kilos or possibly 228 kilos of unusable fuel on the number two side. Now of course the fuel tank in an AW139 acts as one tank until it gets down to the L line here um, and then essentially it splits into two tanks. Now there is a note that says when fuel gets low you should uh, turn the cross feed to closed. So let's just do that now, turn the cross feed to closed, what happens? Nothing. Press it again. Okay, you get suction on the number two engine. And it's now sucking from the number two side. Suction is valid throughout the whole envelope of the aircraft, so there shouldn't be a problem getting fuel to the number two engine in suction. It does say in the note, no abrupt maneuvers, etc. It's probably a good idea. So what happens now when the fuel gets low? You don't get the 228 uh, grayed out on the number two fuel. It will just use fuel evenly until you get a 1-2 fuel low light and by that time you should be on the ground but you have used the unusable fuel so don't forget to do that if you get a boost pump fail. Back in the normal what's happened here oh, sorry to put that on Now we're back in the normal configuration. The fuel probe fail just demonstrates that you'll get a two fuel probe light or a one fuel probe light if it's on the one side, regardless of if it's the main probe or the secondary probe that has failed. It's not too much of an issue. You can generally work out how much fuel you have remaining based on what you see on the opposite side. And you can also work out pretty much what fuel probe has failed based on what you see on your fuel indications. Okay, so going through a normal shutdown, both engines to idle. 
Go to the mandatory two minutes in idle. Fuel pumps off. You're now in suction on both sides. Engines off. Fuel switches to off. Cross feed closed. And that's the shutdown configuration on the fuel system. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Like I said, I have two others up already, the hydraulic system and the electrical system. Uh, this was the fuel system. I'm going to do the fire suppression system and the landing gear system as well as some performance charts. I'll do those in the next week or so and I'll have them up. Uh, please come back and visit. Thank you.